From early in his career, our next guy's award honoree, Dr. Raul Garcia, professor and chair of the Department of Health Policy and Health Services at the Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine, had the compelling vision that society would be much better served if health promotion and care of the underserved were linked across a broad platform of service, education, and research programs. And he has delivered impressively on this bold dream. In doing so, he has reshaped the attitudes of hundreds of students, enhanced the evidence base on minority health, and built service programs that are sustainable and serve as models on how to approve, improve oral health in underserved populations. Let's learn more about this man and his work, both of which are already legendary. It was September of 1996 when then faculty professor Dr. Raul I. Garcia joined Boston University. Nearly two decades later, Dr. Garcia serves as professor and chair of the Department of Health Policy and Health Services Research in the Goldman School of Dental Medicine at Boston University, where his vision has been realized. That vision included a dream that society would be much better served if health promotion and care of the underserved were linked across a broad platform, including education, community service, and research. The vision required bold action. As founding chair of the Department of Health Policy and Health Services Research at the School of Dental Medicine, Dr. Garcia's educational impact was underway. Evidenced by the increased diversification of the faculty and student body, Dr. Garcia established the community health programs which prospered within three years. The fulfillment of the vision continued with the opening of the school-based dental clinic. The partnership between the BU School of Education and the Chelsea Public School System created the Chelsea Dental Center at the Williams Middle School, where on-site, comprehensive dental services for children and adolescents were performed. The Chelsea model was scalable and adaptable, and there are now programs in 29 Boston elementary schools, improving the oral health of children through access to care. Dr. Garcia was not done with his vision. By 2005, he helped BU secure a $4 million gift from the then-named Dental Service of Massachusetts Incorporated to establish the Delta Dental Scholars Program. This initiative supports students who commit to practicing dentistry after graduation in underserved communities in Massachusetts. The impact on Dr. Garcia's research was also confirmed when NIDCR awarded an unprecedented seven-year, $11 million research grant to Boston University to support the Northeast Center for Research to evaluate and eliminate dental disparities. Under his leadership, Dr. Garcia has reshaped the attitude of hundreds of students, enhanced the evidence base on minority health, and built sustainable service programs that are now models of how to improve oral health in underserved populations. His vision has become a reality. Dr. Garcia has built a program that is not merely sustainable, but enviable as a model of how to improve oral health in underserved communities. The Guy's Award for Outstanding Vision by a Dental Educator is presented to my colleague and my friend, Dr. Raul Garcia. Wow is right. Thanks, Jeff, and thanks to the Adia Guys Foundation. I am honored to accept this award, but do so only on behalf of my team, as whatever I've accomplished has been the result of teamwork. First of all, I have to thank my home team, my wife and children, my 90-year-old mother, and my late father, and to my work team, my staff, students, and faculty colleagues at Boston University who did all the work that was described uh, as being my responsibility. And of those colleagues, I need to give special thanks and mention to Dr. Michelle Henshaw and Dr. <laughs> and Dr. Judith Jones. Thank you for your support, for your friendship, and for putting up with me. 
Over my career, I've been privileged to work for some outstanding deans, Paul Goldhaber at Harvard, Erling Johansson and Lonnie Norris at Tufts, and Spencer Frankel and Jeff Hutter at BU. Thank you to them. I need to also mention an early role model and a source of inspiration whom I first met 34 years ago as a senior dental student on my rotation in PEDO at Boston's Children's Hospital, a young pediatric dentist, an excellent clinician and teacher who was also conducting research and pursuing a higher degree in public health, Rick Valakovic. Thanks, Rick, for serving as a role model for me at a critical point in my career. Last but not least, I benefited from many wise mentors over my career, most notably Larry Meskin, Mike Alfano, and Dominic DePaola. Thanks for showing me the way. <laughs>